So I work on our product development, uh, whether it's the database product development uh, at the foundation of our business or our latest and greatest cloud application. Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Oracle's co-founder and executive chairman, Larry Ellison, hit into billionaire status in 2021 with an enormous net worth of over $117 billion. The tech mogul and investor also served as Oracle's CEO for 37 years and is currently ranked at number 7 on the Forbes 2021 list of billionaires. Here's a look at Larry Ellison's day-to-day -day operation. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Let's get right into it. Number 5. Ranks to Riches Back in 2017, Larry Ellison got $5 billion richer over the course of just two days, before ranking number 4 on the Forbes Richest in Tech list for the same year. Later, in April 2021, the billionaire tycoon ranked the ninth wealthiest person in the US and the 10th wealthiest in the world by Bloomberg Billionaires Index. That's certainly a remarkable achievement, especially considering the fact that Ellison actually came from a low socioeconomic background. After dropping out of college twice, he co-founded the Texas-based software giant Oracle in 1977. Throughout the years, the company has grown in part through steady acquisitions of software companies, the biggest of which was $19.3 billion for NetSuite in 2016. Despite giving up the CEO position in 2014, Ellison is still the current chairman and is the chief technology officer, besides owning about 35% of the company. So, in what proved to be a true rags-to-riches story, the tech mogul now enjoys a lavish lifestyle and even owns the largest island in the US, Lanai in the Hawaiian Islands, which he bought back in 2012 for a whopping $300 million. Uh, from the very beginning at Oracle, I ran engineering and I guess what, I'm back, back again running all of engineering. Number 4. Real Estate Portfolio For a billionaire like Ellison, splurging on multi-million dollar mansions is no big deal which explains why he owns as many as two dozen properties in Malibu, California, worth more than $180 million. One of these Malibu homes, a 2,800-square-foot oceanfront cottage, is available to rent for $65,000 a month. Ellison's real estate portfolio also includes lavish properties worldwide, including homes in Japan, Hawaii, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, and Rhode Island. But his main residence is a 45-acre estate in Woodside, California. The $110 million mansion is modeled after a 16th century Japanese estate and features a main house, three cottages, a two-bedroom guest house, a barn converted to a gym, as well as an artificial lake and two waterfalls. During the early 2000s, the Oracle co-founder also spent $65 million on five contiguous lots at Malibu's Carbon Beach, which briefly became the most expensive residential transaction in U.S. history at that time. In 2010, he purchased the $10.5 million Astor's Beachwood Mansion in Rhode Island before spending $42.9 million on the 249-acre Porcupine Creek Estate and private golf course in Rancho Mirage, California the following year. The meticulously manicured four-acre property features a giant swimming pool that includes a beach-like shoreline with tanning beds. Number 3. Car Collection Besides these luxury mansions, Larry is also the owner of a fleet of fancy cars, including a McLaurin F1, which comes with a starting price of $20.5 million and is considered one of the most expensive cars in the world. Ellison's garage is home to many other costly rides, such as the Audi R8 that costs no less than $200,000, a $150,000 Acura NSX, as well as a Lexus LFA, which has a base price of $375,000. Number 2. Private Jets When we talk about Ellison's choice of air travel, he's actually a licensed pilot with a number of aircraft, including at least two military jets. But on most occasions, the billionaire chooses to travel with extravagance in his private jets, such as the Gulfstream 5, which currently has an estimated cost of around $11 million. The business jet can easily accommodate 14 passengers, flies up to 950 kilometers per hour, and comes with conference seating, a full-size galley, a four-place club arrangement, and multi-screen entertainment systems, among many other features. His other jet, the Gulfstream G650, costs nearly $70 million and comes with handcrafted chairs, in-flight entertainment screens, separate cabins to work, relax, and sleep, among other fancy features. Number 1. Luxury Yachts 
considering the fact that the 77-year-old billionaire has a knack for yacht racing and helped to found and fund a racing team called Oracle Team USA. It comes as no surprise that he has owned many super yachts over the years. These include a 288-foot yacht named Musashi that reportedly costs $13 million and can accommodate up to 18 guests in nine luxurious cabins. The tech magnate also owned the stunning 58-meter yacht Ronin, which was designed by the famous British architect and designer Norman Foster, as well as the 75-meter yacht Enigma, which was built by the master yacht building company Blome and Voss. But nothing comes close to the majestic 454-foot vessel called Rising Sun, which reportedly cost over $200 million to build and is the 12th largest yacht in the world. It was designed specifically for Ellison back in 2004, but six years later he sold it to music mogul David Geffen for an enormous $300 million. The luxury motor yacht reportedly contains 82 rooms, including a wine cellar, a gym, a basketball court, and a cinema. You are Thank winning you. the America Cup. Thank you. Thank are you, you going to use the same boat the next year? Uh, probably not. Probably not? Probably not. Probably go to smaller, less expensive boats. Reinvent the wheel? Well, uh, we try to, make, try to make the 45-footers go just as fast. Based on Larry Ellison's incredible real estate portfolio, exotic cars, and stunning super yachts, it's safe to say that he's a lover of luxury and certainly knows how to spend money like a true centibillionaire. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching.